Here with head coach Mike Jones of the Lincoln football team as the Blue Tigers get set for Saturday's season opener at Langston. Coach, uh, you're breaking camp right now. How does your team look? You know what? I think we're in a good position. Uh, we stay relatively healthy. You know, we had we had one injury first camp, first day of camp. Other than that, we've had guys have been healthy, um, and we're getting our guys back, and I think we're in pretty good shape. So it's going to be a great challenge, but we're excited about the challenge. Has anybody really surprised you during the this past fall? Uh, Freshman wise, Antoine Davis. I mean, he's done a phenomenal job. Uh, freshman, wide receiver, he's going to get some a lot of playing time for us. Uh, Jeffrey Burt, he's been solid at defensive back as a freshman. Um, uh, uh, Arbel Alvarado, uh, junior college transfer from East, East LA Community College. Uh, he's played well, played above what we thought he would be. We thought he'd be a solid player, but he's playing really well. Um, and then at the linebacker position, Wesley Gillespie, he's really. He's really improved from last year to this year. He's grown as a player and as a young man. Well, the defense is going to return a lot of starters, you know, a couple of your starting linebackers, a couple of defensive backs. Obviously, you have a couple of preseason All-Americans in there. Uh, how is your uh, defense looking as you head into your first game? You know what? I think they're doing a good job. I mean, I think we have a lot of senior leadership, you know, uh, between Eric Howard on the D-line and Anthony McMillan. And you look at the four starting linebackers, they're all seniors, Paul, uh, Tristan Pulley, Kareem, and, and uh, Jeremy Rees, then Robert Daniels at, at cornerback. So, you know, I think those guys are doing a great job being senior leaders. Uh, some other guys stepped up, Marvin Holly, he's doing a, a heck of a job. So, you know, defensively, I uh, hope we, we play well this year. And then on offense, obviously, you have OJ back, you have a uh, few offensive linemen, a couple seniors on that line. but. Uh, you uh, talked the other day about starting a freshman at center and you have a whole new crop of running backs and some new wide receivers. So how is the offense coming together? Well, I thought the offense, the thing about the offense I think is done well is I think the offensive line has done a good job protecting. OJ does a, does a good job of reading what the defense gives him and he takes, what, takes advantage of that. My um, wide receivers, are the one thing I thought we've done exceptional is, is catch the ball. You know, I think all those guys, if you come to practice, you, very, you see very few balls on the ground. When you have offense that catches the ball, when we throw on the ball, you know, we, our completion rate, we're somewhere between 62 and 65 percent, we're going to be rolling. That's our goal, you know, between 62 and 65 percent, you know, minimum, if no drops, uh, protect the football and be able to up front protect the quarterback. And I think we've been doing all those all those phases. And then on special teams, uh, I know that you have uh, Darius Six back to return kicks, but uh, your punter is going to be new, and it seems like in training camp you've had a pretty good battle for the starting kicking job. Uh, it, so how how is the special teams handling? You this? know what? I think competition breeds uh, good teams. You know, we we're having competition across the board at every position, including our kicking game. You know, we have uh, uh, Eddie, who's our first, just be his first year playing for us. Andrew, who plays back for us the last two years as a freshman. Broke all the kicking records, so he's been kicking well. We have a young kid by the name of John Clyde Booker, who's done a phenomenal job. He's pushing both those guys, and then Logan Shea, you know, he's doing a good job of transfer, and he's, he's a former soccer player, so he's still learning how to kick a football. So um, it's going well. All right. Well, this week you have uh, Langston, and I know that you kind of feel like uh, this is a team you owe something to after the one point loss last year. But uh, just as you have new players on your offense, uh, Langston's also gone through some turnover as well. Uh, what do you know about this Langston squad? Well, when you have a quarterback coming back, yeah, that's always makes it easier for your coordinator and your head coach. You know, you have a good young quarterback. Actually, be a junior. He's a junior this year. He had this, this top receiver, uh, Augustine, number one, coming back. You know, they also have a nice running back uh, coming back. And I think he switched numbers, number seven. So, I mean, they have some guys coming back up front. You know, they're solid up front. You know, they're, they're tight end and wide receiver positions are probably their strongest positions on their team. And then they have a quarterback coming back. So, when you have those things, that's great. You know, defensively, you know, uh, Coach Sonny is a defensive guy, so you know he's going to have his defense ready to play. And uh, I think they have, you know, I think they have five guys coming back on defense. So, you know, we're playing in a hostile environment. It's going to be their first home game. You know, it's a, it's a rivalry, you know, it's a, it's a traditional rivalry between Langston and Lincoln, and Lincoln. So this is a great game for the first game. So everyone's going to be ready to go, and hopefully we perform well. As you mentioned, you'll be in a hostile environment. Uh, last year you played in a neutral site in Kansas City, but this year you're going to be down in uh, Oklahoma for this game. So 
Uh, keeping that in mind, what do you think is going to be the key for your team to go out and get a win? Well, you know, we said a couple of things. You know, I said we got to control the noise. You know, and, and that comes in all phases. Um, when we're here at, at, in practice and in, on campus, we got to make sure, focus on what's important and control the noise. To control the noise. So whatever is not making you better, we consider that noise. You know, so if you if you have to make sure you take care of your business out of the classroom, do that. Don't make it a distraction. On the field, make sure you concentrate on what you're doing. You know, and then having that focus. You know, if we focus on our responsibility, then we'll, we'll be fine. All right. Thanks for your time. Thank you.